Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live. Welcome to Tonic Live with me, Owen. Me, Alison. And me, Daniel. There you go. Uh, it's Wednesday. What is Tonic Live? Tonic Live, a live papercraft tutorials with Alison with one of Tonic's most recent and greatest launches. And uh, yeah, me and Dan go through your comments. Dan on YouTube, me on Facebook. And uh, and, that, and that's how we do. So uh, we have a bit of a show. A few of you will be joining us already, but we'll, we'll find you on here on Facebook. So just comment as you You'll go. Be there. Yeah, if it's your first time joining, just comment. Any questions you have regarding what Ali's working on or just generally Tonic Studios, let us know and I'll answer them for you if I can. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So Ali, what are you doing today? What am I doing? Well, I thought I would do a different version of the memory box. So I thought, well, we've done them with the big covers. Um, so I thought I would do one held together by little rings because I thought, Sometimes, you know, when you look at the big memory box, I don't know whether you were like me, you get a bit scared of them and you think, oh my word, you know, there's such a lot to do in there. I don't even know where to start. Then why not think, start with one page and then you can pop a ring through it, join it all together and then another page and just work your book up like that. So that was my, my kind of reckoning behind this. So again, you know, we've got little bits that are open we have got little tags that come out that you can write in or put photos in. Um, I mean, any of these little places here that you can see, you can put photos in. You can write little comments in. Um, if it's your holiday that you've collected tickets and things from, put those in. Anything you like, you can put in these boxes. Yeah. So that was my first page. I will show you as many as I can within the time limit. If we run out of time, then I'll tell you briefly what I've done. So then we've got one that we have a little page that comes out. And again, you can write back and front. You can put your photos on the front, write on the back about it. It's a card to explore. So you have it, it and you can, you can go through it, it and is. find little bits in there. And yeah, it's more it's more than a project. It's more than a card. It's um, Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, you know what it's like with photos. You take the photos, you put them in a box. Well, this is going back now years ago and then you you get them out then say 20 years later you can't remember who's in the photo where you are how old you are or anything about no, no, it I, I think we, we got a thing now like where because everyone's taking pictures all the time on their phones yeah. but you have the photos and you don't you don't do anything with them really you know but you know you the odd sort of one you may get blown up or something yeah. like that but it's a good way to use all these photos that, exactly. you, that you're doing the ones you're particularly proud of yeah, create awesome projects like this one. The thing is, when you children, you know, when when my son was little, we took loads and loads and loads of pictures, and the older he got, we kind of took less. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he got to a teenager, we've got hardly any photos. I've got none, none of me is a teenager either. And that's sad. So that's where these books come in. And when they're eighteen, then you start this book when they're little, do a couple of pages every year, and when they get to eighteen, you give it to them. Yeah, that would that's be that would be that's, that, that is cool. That's the long. I, I can't keep a gift for someone before their birth, you know, like if I bought it the day well, before, I just oh, end up giving keep it, anything. keep anything. So yeah, to wait 18 years to give me something is. But then it could be something that they've seen you working on. Yeah, yeah. But How, you, how's the book going? You can show them. That is a cool, that's a cool idea. You could. And then the last one then, I just did a little page to open. Um, Lisa asking, can we see it on the close up cam or the overhead? Please? Oh, sorry, my darling. Of course overhead. you can. There you go. Oh, we're upside down. Hang fire. Right. There we there are. We go. Getting how long my arms are and how short they are. So this one then will open up. And then you've got a little tag inside that you can write in or put some photos in or put secret messages in. It depends what you want the book for. You know, it could be that your children are going away to university. You know, I know it's early now, but September will be here very, very soon. And maybe you want to put photos of the family in there. Um, it may be... It could, I was thinking, it could be a nice guest book or for a... So you're at a wedding or someone's writing exactly. the best wishes. You could have them as a, a little guest book that they can jot their notes in saying, 
I wish you well on That's your right. happy marriage or something so like that. pages there. Oh, my arm's dropping, yeah. Susie's looks amazing. Loads of people joined in already. I think a lot of people just missed you from, from Monday. They're oh, just bless you. Because, like, I had to people were creating stuff like this, right? And I don't wow. know. I don't know. I don't know who made this, in fact. But That's looking a bit like Hector's house to me. It is a bit Hector's house, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. But, now what it was like, I'll be honest, it was mine, right? But it was a, like, quite an abstract, like, what it right. feels to be a cat. and. Okay. Yeah. And I messed okay. up the tabs on the roof, I'll accept that. But they, they went... Uh, Do you know how it feels to be a cat now? I feel like I'm closer. Good. Not... Yeah, orange and blue, I think, plays a big part in that. So, <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> the well, scene. they say cat. Their uh, dogs see in black and white, don't yeah. they? So what do cats see in? Orange and blue, orange I think. Orange and blue. Very nice. That's Very nice. Science. So that's where I started. So I thought I would... I'd go through it slowly so you can see if you are scared about doing it there is there is real easy ways you can get around it and do it do it in little steps you know I've I gotta be honest with you I have never ever made a memory book this is the first one I've done so doing a big memory book scared me as well but I knew I had to do one at some point so this is my starting point so you can learn along with me the dies I've used are our memory book maker base creator die set. So this is what's made the main pages here and also some of the layers inside. But I've also supplemented it with the memory book maker layer die set. So I'll tell you about it all as we go along because the plain dies in here match the dies here. Different, slightly different sizes though. So how do we start with a page? Let's do that first. So I have done a bit of die cutting. I've taken my die. Imagine this now is half of my A4 sheet. So I've placed the die right up, almost to the edge of the card. So that's all you can see there is a tiny little slit there. And then I've left all this because the bit that you've got holding them all together can be as long or as short as you like. You can even stagger these pages so the one is longer than the other. There are lots of ways to do it. Um, I mean, maybe you can put a name then on the end. Again, yeah, depending yeah. on what De you feel like. Definitely. Kelly's new with Hi, I'm new here. This looks amazing. Oh, welcome along. Oh, Kelly. welcome along, Kelly. We do these Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 p.m. and. Yeah, this is kind of what we do. You're going to be a bit cross with me because I'm not going to be Kelly here in particular, or after today. Mm. Well, I will be back, you know, I will be back. But I won't be back here until next week. That's not how you're going to break, won't you? You're leaving tonic. No, I'm not, not leaving not, tonic. Not off the cuff on a live. I'm not leaving tonic. <laughs> no, um, I'm just going away for the weekend. Yeah, go, going away to... I'm off to Ireland. Yeah. I am. Going away. Seeing the rugby. Well, yes. Yeah, it'd be brilliant. Have a good time. But we'll, yeah, I think we've got Karen Friday. Yes. So Karen, you, you can hear that laugh already from. <laughs> She'll keep you entertained. With Alison's laugh going one way, you hear <laughs> you hear Karen's come in that way. It's a round laugh. It's a round sound. Yeah. I've trimmed off the excess, and then I want to trim right up. If we can see there, I trimmed the little notch away because I want to use this notch for lining up. So I'm doing exactly the same on the other side. That little notch is coming out. So the way I've done it, and I've done it on all of the, exactly the same on all the sheets. So they're all gonna be the same size. I've taken that notch and I've lined it up on the three quarters of an inch. I mean, this could be any size. It doesn't have to be inches. It doesn't have to be centimeters. That's just the size that was easiest for me to choose. So trim off the edge so you know that's all straight. Line it up then with that little notch. The bit I'm lining with, it's easy to see on you, is the edge bit on the die here. So I'm lining up here, this little notch here. And then I will be trimming, trimming that excess off. Just be careful that you don't come down too far because you're just going to trim everything straight. 
flip it over and then do the other side so that's my first page so I can pop that to one side and that's what you know if if you're new to Tonic Studios or you haven't seen some of our recent launches you know some of our the favorites have, have been ones which have made a difficult project a lot easier so oh, definitely. what previously would have been a more intimidating project you know yeah your easel card so creator that's what we've we yeah did. and um, yeah yeah with the memory book making something that was yeah potentially a, a daunting task to take on one that you feel comfortable and you can just yeah like give it a go but like with any of these projects just take your time through them make it it's a project you're just going to enjoy and, and just go through exactly so now I've popped them all together. Oh, why have I done that at a different size then? Uh, Lisa says, where did you get the ring things from, please? Never seen them before. They are woodware. Um, I think I probably bought them in a show. There you go. Um, but they're a woodware make. So if you just <laughs> Google woodware, then I'm sure you would come up rings. with them. Yeah. Right, I don't think I've trimmed this one. I don't know why. Carol's got to go. Have fun. See you guys. See you later, Carol. Hope you can watch back. Lisa, they're called book rings, says Hazel. There we are. I think a lot of people, the UK supply of magnets is just. It's oh, just definitely. Out. You can't get a magnet these days now. The magnets I've bought are pretty pants. I'd be honest about it. Right, this is just a normal paper punch, and it is. I think it's one eighth of an inch circle. So the easiest way, if you've got too many cards, to punch in one go set yourself a point on the on the um on the back of this so the way i've done it is take it to the edge so i'm using the edge as my guide and i'm also using my line of dots as my guide so i know then if i can only go through a couple of these oh it did go through them all and it's broken it i think no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, broken it then. No, I'm fibbing to you. So make yourself a measuring point. Because then when you come to do more, it means you can use the same spot. So again, I am using... Oh, hang on. I'm using the edge of the card. And I'm using my dots. Bevis, when will these dice be back in stock? They seem to be sold out everywhere. I think that's it, because they are sold out everywhere. I think... How long ago did they go on? Are they about a month ago? About a month ago. Um, we ordered more in as soon as they all got sold out. We ordered more in, and they should be in the trade very soon. So when I say trade, that's retailers are up and down the UK. So beyond the Chanda, whether you know whoever whoever you shop with on Google, yeah, you'll find them. They will be there very very soon. Very I don't want to soon. tease you today. Okay. So what I'm going to do now? I've made a hole there and i want to make sure that the hole is in the same place so use this as your guide so you need a crop dial i do need a crocodile i do desperately need one a line, a dial. a crop dial. <laughs> use the hole you've already punched and then line it up with the others and then your holes all going to be together okay then you can pop these little rings in. Having a live crocodile just to punch your card, it's like it's not sustainable. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he when did. When he did his cards, he did them. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, there's a lot in multi purpose yeah. uh, crocodiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got neodymium magnets from eBay. I just bought Lisa. I said that everyone That's the is ones you want. And is that the neodymium? That uh, is the ones you want. Sarah, hello, my lovely. Sorry, can't watch it today, but having to get bits for my son's birthday on Friday. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, I have Friday. a fabulous time. I'll catch up later. Yeah, you can catch up. <laughs> Susan, I'm sure she can put her on expenses. So it's about, about you. <laughs> yeah, you can. Of course you can. I'm sure I can. Yeah. I'm sure I can. Right. So there's my pages. So I've just put four in you for starters. Because again, I don't want to scare myself and I don't want to scare you either. So where do I go next? Whenever you say that, I think of like a Halloween one or something like that, where it's mm. like, if you made a Halloween one, that would be... Then well, you would, could. You could. You could. I mean, it could be the Halloween means something to you and your family. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, you could have all the photos of your children, dressed up, treating, every year, anything like that. Every year you dress up, you could have the, have the pictures. Add another I've page. Actually, I've actually seen Halloween. It's on a Shetonic album, I think. 
Oh, there awesome. we are. Yeah, looking forward to it. Add another one each year. So again, they grow with you. So how have I started? Right. Let's get a few bits and bobs. Here. Someone asked about the papers, I think. Um, the papers? Yeah, the ones These you use papers? the flower. I think the flower. Well, it's Craft Perfect card for the purple and the, and the cream. This is just a paper pad I had. It's Mulberry, Mulberry something. I will let you know um, and I'll tell you which paper it is. But if you buy a paper pad, generally all the papers in there are going to work together. So you can just pick and choose out of those papers what you want to add. Most of them are the same. So what I've done now, I've gone to the layering die. We've used the outer die. I don't know whether I explained it to you very well. There's no cut edge on this corner, if you've not seen them. You've got the two lines here, and you can cut it as long as you want. That's what I was saying, you can have these staggered so that they're longer. Um, it's entirely up to you. You can put it on a fold edge, and this will cut your pages so they fold edged ones. Um, lots you can do with that. So then I've gone in one and I have used the layering die that corresponds to that size. So I'm going to work everything on this and then we'll sort it after. Uh, best wishes Catherine as well. I'm, I help my sister. My mother is, isn't the best on myself in the room. Yeah, you're doing really well, oh, Catherine. Keep it going. Luck. You're doing well. Um, Kev, please bring the inspiration sentiments back. The DT keep using them and we, we want them. This is from Will's hand the sentiment here yeah so have a little look at will's hand as well um because there's a couple in there and that's the name of the of the die range that one so will's hand sentiments type that into google uh you should be able to find them they got an awesome that sort one. of backing plate to them they and have it's a lovely they font. have okay so i've gone down the size now i'm still on this set i haven't used any of those yet and then i've cut another layer so i'm just going to glue these together and and then I wanted to put a little bit of decoration so I used one of our border lace dies and I think it's Constance I've used if I remember mm. rightly and where have I put uh, Susan, I wish you had done this demo uh, before Jodie did hers. I would have bought the dies as you're making a book. But I wouldn't have been scared to have a go out after watching. Jo I, I think, yeah, it can be like that. I think that's the problem with, I, I, with, with yeah, someone who's never tried yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think, you know, because you, you know, with when Jodie makes some makes on the show, they're amazing. And they're like, oh, they are. Like, ma like massive are. big things. And she'll create these. They're all projects. But yeah, it, it can, sometimes it can be a bit intimidating uh, joining. But that's hopefully, if you ever think that, oh, would you like to see. Yeah, a more basic one or something, a stripped down version. Exactly. We'll do our best to, to sort that for you. But yeah, there's, if you want to, you, that's something to work, you can work towards that, you know, that. But oh, the, Well, the, that's the, right. This looks brilliant though too. But start with one page. Yeah. It Don't all starts with one page. It starts with one card. It does. It does. Yeah, think of it as a card. Yeah. I'm just yeah. making an interactive card. There you are. Think of it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll we'll have to know. Um, me too, Kim. I'm loving the purple, uh, my favourite colour, Alison. This is our aubergine purple, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The ultraviolet this year is the Pantone colour of the year, I've also I've seen. Oh, right. Because I put purple up on in the stair, and a lot of people have told me that it was. So. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. It looks better. It's a lime green last Was it? I don't know. I've only just caught on to it. zesty green. What is like, the Pantone colour of the year? I'm still new to that. What is it? A trend colour that they it's set out. It's a trend, out. yeah, yeah. The Pantone. Pantone, because the they are the ones that do the colours. Is that Pantone a pie? Pantone. They tell us. They do. The big, yeah. Exactly. The big but they are the ones that do colour charts, and I mean, when you make things, you reference from Pantone. So if you say, right, I want a green, and I want a Pantone reference whatever that reference is that's where it comes from so it's a general cool. colour thing the designers will tell you far more than oh, I will about it, it. Oh, no, they, love the Pantone they live by the Pantone colours um, Kim, Kim says can I please put up two large projects this week one set is what I made over the weekend with Jodie I will allow it Kim did you all have a good weekend bonk, with Jodie yeah I, th I think they did I saw the pictures it's some awesome 
They did look like they had a. It was like loads of you in the room. It was just looked like they had a really good time. That's what you want. I know. It? Because you all inspire each other. Then, right. The next bit I want to show you. So this is. Just think of this now. This is your base for a card. This could be a shaped card, and you wouldn't be frightened to do that. So now we're going to add another little bit on top of it. So we've got these. So again, what have I done? I have, let me find them. I've done exactly the same as I did um, cutting these, but this time I've put it on a fold. So we've got a little fold there. And do it twice, so they, they're roughly the same size. So if I get a, no, I haven't got a piece I can show you. But just fold your card in half. You can line the die up on the edge because you will, you, there's no cut edge there, so you won't get a cut and you will still be able to have the fold. And to get this little booklet, you just cut them twice and glue them together. I'm all about making it easy. They're nice little wallets, those for something. Exactly. As well. yeah, you don't exactly. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, you know, a book of anything like that. You could just do it as a nice photo sort of wallet for, yeah. for someone. Um, Mother's Day is coming up. And you know, if you've got a grandmother and you think, oh, what am I going to buy her again this year? She got everything. You know, it's always the same. It's a box of chocolates, it's a bunch of flowers. But what about you've got something now with the grandchildren? You've got something yeah. with your brothers and sisters. Oh. That's what grandmothers love. Mothers love it as well. Oh, so this could be something to start with. So there's our little, our little book to go on there. Now this is where I started with my magnets, but as I say, I will tell you my magnets are absolutely pants. And they are self-adhesive ones. And they, they're almost like our, you know our magnets in our folders, they're very much like those. But they're not very good, so I wouldn't recommend you buying these. I really would not recommend <laughs> you like buying them. Just bashing these magnets, yeah. really. Well, you added the thing, they're not like ours though. The, the, like, oh no! no. They're, they're like ours, so they're not very good. But <laughs> they're not, not like ours. No, you know when you know the magnets, they're self adhesive, right. but they uh they're that type of fab you know, that type oh, of okay. fabric, that's what right. I mean. Not that they like ours are no good. Because <laughs> ours was I We even, wouldn't release a product which is I have even no cut up bits of our magnets and used it. That's cool. You know if you've had a magnet that you've you've called sort of cut then use those. So because it's self-adhesive, I've centred it first by putting it on the other magnet and then stick it over there. So there's my magnet. It holds when there's not a lot of card on it, but once you put your laser card, it doesn't stick as well. So that's my problem yeah. with it. So my little book now, on the front, I have got, uh, let's have a look what I've got. I've got lots of bits I've kept. Like I say, I'm hoping I'll get through them all, but I have a feeling I may not. How are you two, Dan? Have you got them all? What have we got here? Lawn, Jill, yeah. S. Cone. From <laughs> <laughs> and usernames are just weird to read, aren't they? Yeah. Um, sorry. Translate, He's going to translate. Dan's going to translate the the French comment that, that we had on there. Um, I know some, but by the time one gets himself sorted, it'll be full. Oh, which, oh, he said, book our, book ourselves in the 9th and 10th of February next year for, for Jody's thing. Yeah, we'll have oh, to. Oh, fantastic. For, for the make, we'll have to. Like, this year, we just, there's just so much going on at Tonic at the moment. Oh, like, it's just this time of year is manic in the office. Yeah, everyone was at, at Stitches um, last weekend. Well, you, you went, you had I a went, good time, yeah. Didn't? Yeah. Lots Love of good going stuff. to the trade shows. Got VIP sort of pass when he goes. Of go. course. <coughs> when of he goes. Um, so yes, is it Sowerset? Sowerset? Yeah. Uh, it's um, uh, in French, so it says, Hello from France, love your videos, and especially your food news as well. And also, there's another comment from uh, one. And uh, they've ordered the next kit. Oh, brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, all sort out, but we'll be doing. First week of March, we'll do a, an unboxing uh, for you to, and show you exactly what's in the next one's kit as well. Uh, Marley uh, from South Africa. Hi, South Africa. Might be the first we've seen South Africa. Uh, as the kit sold out, yes, it has, Paula, I'm afraid. Uh, so if you are looking for the kit now, it's too late. Yeah, kit number seven is now gone. Kit number eight will be available 
7th or 8th of March, around that time period. So first week-ish of March, when it would be available. Awesome. Mm. So I've gone to the smallest layers now in the layer inset and I've cut the patterned one and I've also cut the next one down which has got a beautiful scalloped edge. So that's where that one's come from. Inspire then, as I say, is Will's hand. So it gives you the backing plate but it also gives you whoops, the beautiful script wording. So what I've done with this is exactly the same card as I've used. I've popped a little bit of clear mark embossing um, ink on there and then I've put some clear embossing powder. So even though I'm still using the same cardstock, it's given it a little bit of texture and a little bit of definition. Um, John was saying I was looking for a video on how the butterfly was done. Did we have we put that the basic one? Because you did a basic I did butterfly a basic recently. Butterfly, yeah. Has that gone up? We'll have to check because because we've done a basic one, uh, Joan. So if you are looking for that, there's plenty of videos on on there from the team who've done uh, projects with the craft kits. You'll be able to find them on YouTube. But the basic one, we'll check. It may already be up there. Um, and loves wheels hands ties. Yeah, they, I think they, they, they. I think they, you're going to see them loads and loads. I think they're sort of a slow burner on, I like uh, on them. I think they're, I they're really, really nice. Like Marcy, it will be announced soon when tickets are available. So yeah, they're already planning oh, next year. It's all going to happen. Um, so a nice idea, earlier from. Uh, who did I see it from? I think it was Marcia, maybe. Yeah, Marcia, my son in law's nanny passed away in January, so I'm making Aww. a memory book for his mum. That's a nice gift to that give. That is lovely. Someone, you know, you know someone who's, you know, you've got nice pictures and things for that. To give them exactly. that. Exactly. It's a exactly. nice thing for them to keep. And to give to the family. I yeah. stuck that flower in a bit of a wrong place there. So the inside then, just to show you how to decorate the inside. Again, it's the same layer. All no, it's not. I've fibbed you. These are from the plain layer set. And... Let me move these out the way. It's the panel that is around your first patterned panel. Paula, um, right, I'm just about to go back on the road, so, so I have to one. log off and put Blaze on his lead. Are you you're watching as you're walking? Are you? Are you Paula? Oh, is that how it is? Fair oh, play. It's yeah, Blaze, I like it. I like Blaze. Um, there we are. So this actually covers the magnet. That's the idea, anyway. I mean, if you've got the new new Dyna maggot, maggots, <laughs> magnets, don't buy any maggots. Not nice. Everyone's bought mag. No. Well, if you can't get buy magnets, don't buy mag maggots. They're yeah, not, don't buy maggots. They're not a substitute. They're not equivalent. They're not equivalent. No, they don't work terribly. People are buying well. crocodiles and maggots today. <laughs> yes. Just what are we doing to people? Look, you you are you told me to buy this stuff and it doesn't. It's quite an exotic shop. It is. Yeah, I maggots. Know. You're all down the pet shop. New Dinia maggots. <laughs> so then I've used the pattern panel then on the side panels. Um, I've just Marcia, yeah, I just started the book today. Oh, it's going to be lovely. I'm oh, sure, fantastic! Um, Joan was tidying up my boxes and found a lot of old tonic dyes, but forgot how to use them. Well, with certain dyes, you never know. We can do a. A, a, what a have project. You got? What have you got? What have you Let found? Let us know Jill? what you've got. Yeah. I mean, it may be we've already done videos on them. Yeah. We yeah we might have. They may because be way we've, back. We've done quite a lot. Um, we've done some on coffee and craft where, you know, people needed inspiration or they'd forgotten what what to do with certain dyes. Yeah. I'd, it might so be a, a really tonic light. So if it's a launch, if it was been launched in the last two years, there's a good chance there's a tonic live um, related to it because that's what Wednesday show has been all about. Is the is the launches and when yeah. when we first started them, they were just any old time really. Like they were Wednesday, always Wednesdays, but they were like we changed the time <laughs> around. We do like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., then we stuck with the four. Then yeah, 1 p.m. It's 4 p.m. And then we yeah. asked people what, what they wanted, yeah. didn't we? And then look, everyone just said, we don't mind. So it wasn't <laughs> like, it wasn't an idea. So I was like, all right, then we'll just, we'll go for fork. I think, I think people watch back anyway. We had some people that missed us because of the school run, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I've used the pattern panel again, but I've just cut a little strip of card just to wrap around 
this could be a piece of elastic it could be a piece of ribbon a um, piece of lace even whatever you fancy again these books are fantastic you know when you go you're at the end of a roll of ribbon and or you've you've cut it cut a, enough to make a bow but you've got too much and you don't want to throw say you've got about three or four inches and you don't want to throw it in the bin these are perfect for that so you can use all your little bits in uh, and include them in there and good idea Sharon I've made a chocolate Sue says I've made a chocolate this afternoon a bit naughty as I'm trying to lose weight ah oh, well oh. I just do have to have small slices yeah if you cut up the slices exactly. thinner yeah. it don't matter then, then. I'm sure it don't count that, that's fine I'm like I'm trying not to eat chocolate at the moment there is like psychology to that as well so having smaller portions you have that more of and does it work I mean you know Really on the psychology, but, <laughs> but it's because what, you, you, you trick your stomach. No, you trick your more the mind. Uh, what? So you have less slices and you feel full quicker because you're like, because you well, I've had two you slices. I've had three slices of cake, but they were they were wafer thin. Yeah, but they're still like Waffers. I know, but that's it, wafer, wafer thin Waffers. cake. Yeah. That might work. That it might work. Who yeah. knows? Tip. Who knows? Big tip. Big tip for that. Uh, Sharon said, could you make a waterfall card to put in the memory book? Yes, you certainly could. That would be you insane. You certainly could. It's not possible. It's not possible. <laughs> you could do that? The engineering involved alone. Um, you sure can. Uh, can I do it? Can, can I have a slice? Oh, I do fancy a bit of cake now. I do love a bit of cake. Yeah. Oh. I had, um, I had a piece of bread pudding up in the NEC. And I do love what bread What did you pudding. have? Bread pudding. Oh. We, can we all just take a moment and just think about cake? <laughs> Love a bit of bread pudding. Cake, it's mine's like, I'm pretty, I'm like chocolate cake, all Victoria sponge, I, I'm like quite basic like that. I love um, red velvet because it's like basically oh. Victoria, like it's basically like a regular cake but it makes it look fancy. I do it's like red velvet as well, it's quite sickly. It's basically a sponge cake but with red dye. And the colour would be truth sometimes. They do sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Not a vegetable. I know what to do. <laughs> a vegetable. Yeah, that's one of your five a day. I don't eat cake to eat vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> one of your five a day. So I'm popping a little bit of ribbon because I want it to be a little cute tag. And just make a little tag as long or as short as you want it. I put a little bit of of tape on there. Nice colour ribbon. Like a deep it's nice, deep isn't it? Yeah. Like a black current very aubergine colour just trim the end this was a Robinson's a Robinson's black current panto Robinson's yes <laughs> and then we've used the same little central panel so again I mean you can be putting words you can be putting pictures on these I wanted to keep it as simple as I could because I didn't want to frighten anybody there we are and that then lush little tag that will, when that's all stuck down, that just tucks in there and that will hold. The other thing you could do is make this in two strips and put a little magnet behind it so it opens out and then it shuts with a magnet. So that's the other thing that you could do. So it is actually holding. So I'm quite well, surprised. I love that. That just is alone. Like you don't have to back that. It'd just be. That's it. Could have and that then we're going to stick that onto there. So again, a little bit of glue. Have I lost any of you too f so far? Have I scared you off? Check the top, Cameron. And we'll or see are you are you still with me? There they are. They've all gone off. Have they? There's no one in there. <laughs> it's just like it's just Have been I us for the last twenty you? minutes. It's just been us. Have I frightened you? I've just been making up a lot of the stuff they say. <laughs> well, I know that. You do make it up anyway. I've just been saying, oh, lovely card and stuff. Like that's just for me. I know. I know. So there we are, there's our first you layer. Nice <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you tell me nice. You should things, be more complimentary so. about Owen's cards, a lot of people saying that. <laughs> I think you're fibbing. <laughs> I think your nose will grow. That's what we said before about the cake when it was like they go upstairs and then we don't see them down here. Do you remember that? Yes. It's true though, so isn't it? It's someone's birthday not too long ago actually, and I don't remember having a single slice. I don't remember having a single slice. Oh. Well they want my birthday, I know that. No, but all I could so all I could say is the cake wasn't there when I went up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. There's page one done. What 
wasn't too bad was it and that's all I've used there so far is dies in the set plus inspire so I haven't used anything technical so open it up and we've got another page how are we doing for time we're doing all right are we doing 20, all right 25 two. okay so we'll shut that one up and oh this one was a really quick one because I thought you're not going to want to do all very complicated cards you're going to want to add little bits to it we should do it like a you know like a gig where they go off and then they come back on for the encore yes right you go off and go good night it's my final one you go good night and then they go more more and then you come back and you finish off and then I'll do one of them <laughs> and you play the hits so they go come on more 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 cards more, more. we Very want sharp, Alison, one, more one, one more page one more if you are making this album this is kind of a two for one because I've cut the back in panel which is the same die it's the largest you know me I have dies everywhere um, it's the largest one no it's not that one where's that die there it is it's the largest one from this panel here and that's the one I've cut as my backing plate for each of these pages I cut it again then and then I cut it in half so there is the other half of that so you can make as you do in your book you can do two pages like this just by doing one cut so that's going to sit on the bottom like a little pocket nice contrast to that between those mm. Then I cut the lace die again. This is our, I'm sure it's Constance, and that comes on the top of there. So I've just done the one cut and I've cut it in half because I didn't want a huge layer of lace there. So, um, yeah, David said, one more card. Well, <laughs> we, we should just leave it empty here yeah, until yeah. late, and we just build up a noise. And then we come back and go, oh, hey, oh. She's going to finish off with uh, easier. And then they get the finish bug off. And then you play the hits then. You yeah. do like all the best of twist and pop cards. <laughs> do all the, all the big, uh, all the big ones. You do like a flip flop, you know, all the ones that everyone wants. Your twisted easel. Your twisted easel you card. You love a twisted easel. And, and you do the first, <laughs> you do the first bits of a twisted easel and they recognise it and they go, yeah. <laughs> like the, like the, in the intro, yeah. like to, yeah, Hotel California. They just, yeah. they, they know. Oh, you just know Hotel She's California. She's doing twisted easel. Yeah. She's doing She's twisted there. easel. <laughs> so there we are. Well, one goes, yeah. <laughs> Do requests. <laughs> so just trim the edges off. There we are. Love you all. <laughs> Love you. So because I want to make a pocket, I only want to put a tiny bit of glue right around the edges. So use the little dots as your guideline. Alison's greatest hits tour. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> it wouldn't be. This is a new one, and they go boo. Yeah. They, they don't want. This is a new, but they like. They they want to hear the new stuff as well. They want the old. Stuff. Alison greatest hits we tour. We love It'll the old. Stuff, yeah, they play. We love the old. Make like an album video for it, where it's like you know you're walking in the in the, in the bar and it's like, <laughs> yeah. like soft focus stuff, but it's just like it's going. It's like twisted weasel cards. This this one this one's an old one. Make along if you know it. And then it's like, what? <laughs> it's a waterfall. It's a waterfall. She's playing waterfall card. It's the, it's the cranking of the dime machine. It's just like. Oh, you always got to have a crank on the dime machine. Yeah. There we are. So there's my starting point. I'm, my pocket is there, all made. And then I've gone down the size now. So I've gone down to the next size. Hang on, have I pulled it out? There it is. I've gone down to the next size in cream. So that's where my layer is. Let's find one. Can I cut one? I don't think I have. <laughs> Lisa said, my dad heard Alison say, this is Will's hand earlier. And now he keeps asking me if Will's got his hand back. Oh, <laughs> nice. poor Will. No. He, has, he has had it back. Poor Will. No, I don't think I've cut this die actually. Ali, is it okay for, for this book, please? Others ask for cards. Like, so yeah, she was. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. You have to ask. We'll see. You've asked, so we'll I don't know. You. I do. don't know. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. It would be great with a musical die machine. What? Ding, da, ding, da, ding, da, ding. Like, pop goes the weasel. 
Oh, I love pop goes the weedy song. <laughs> You'd love that I think song. mine used to be um, Camberwick Green. What does that go like? Uh, is it Camberwick Green or was it Windy Miller or something like that? I can't think or what green it was sleeves. now. Dun, dun, oh, dun, no, dun, I can't bear with green sleeves. So that was a big hit. That oh, was back in the 1500s. Oh, I know, but I didn't like green sleeves. <laughs> You know, do you hear some, some music you hear and you're like, oh no, that was one of mine. <laughs> Green sleeves. We used to sing something to it in school and I can't think what we used to sing. My school would, they would cha ha use original words but change the music. I don't know whether you were school Had the copyright did issues, did they? Oh, I don't know what they did. We used to sing, um, the Callanan is a big yeah. Welsh song. And we used to sing um, Callan Lan to, I don't know whether any of you ever remember it, you won't. Oh, what was it called? Um, you won't, because I can't remember what it was. Um, oh. Magic Roundabout, Marcia said. Was it Magic Roundabout? No, it wasn't Magic dun, Roundabout. Dun, 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 dun. That would be quite good. Oh, yeah, that's another one. No, what the heck was it called? Van der Valk. There was a series on TV called Van der Valk. And we used to sing to that. Van der Valk, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> quite bizarre. <laughs> it's quite bizarre. Some of the stuff you quite, do in school quite is, bizarre. is bizarre. Yeah. Uh, no harm in asking again. Yeah, um, oh, I know Su what I Sue's pretty pleased. I'm sure we can get a few. Um, we'll do some. No, in school in general, it's a bit hard. Especially primary school. Just do some random songs for me. So I forgot my tab. I've taken the tiny, tiniest of these dies now. Cut it out. I'm going to fold it in half. And I want this to just sit underneath. So a little bit of glue on each side. And then right in the centre there. That's where I want to sit my, my tab. Patty says, hi everyone from California. I'm really enjoying Oops. these Facebook live videos. Oh, Patty, that's... I'm oh, glad you fantastic. enjoy. We have Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday. We're always here at four p.m. Um, David says the bravest, of us, the bravest of us can card surf as well, like at the gig. Whoa! You look yeah. after your shoes, though. Whoa! Because well, I, well, I imagine more just like surfing the card. The card like, going back, yeah. The card is the one that surfs. It goes, yeah. Um, hates the lyrics to Green Sleeves. Maybe that's what it green is. Green sleeves of my heart have got Yeah, it like could that. be that. Yeah. Oh no, I don't like it. Oh, sorry. My daughter wants a small die cut machine as she has got into crafting. Will Tonic be doing one? We don't have a have a small machine. Um, yeah, it's, quite tricky, yeah. it's quite yeah. But um, you know, it's a good sort of machine that'll last her, her life. <laughs> probably <laughs> your last it does use about eighty or ninety. It's yeah. it's a long it's a heavy duty machine which will you know look at it's just well made, so yeah, it'll look after it. He was a detective Van der Valk. That's it, good, yeah. that's the one. Used to sing <laughs> and used to sing Callan Lan. Right. So there's our next page. So, mm, not sure. I'll show you how I've done the open page because that was a little bit technical. Was it? Are we done for time? We're all fine, right, yeah, yeah. We? That's okay. I'm just a bit conscious because I had so many pages done. I'm just a bit conscious of time and how much time we've got. Right, so what I did with this, I was thinking, right, how can I do it so that I've got an opening book? So I need a fold line on each side. So I have taken the largest of the plain dies from the creator set. And I've measured from cut edge to cut edge, and it's just over 14 centimetres. So my figuring is, if I have a three and a half, I've got to think now. No, that's wrong. Seven centimetres on each side and then a fold edge. So I'll show you what I did now. I've taken my card. I've got my, my board. It could be any scoring board. It could be... I brought this because it's easy for you to see. So I've got my card and I'm going to score at seven centimetres. So we've got a line um Pat says can you show the dies again i came in a bit late i will a beautiful shape to them yeah we will show you i will i'll put them all back in their right places and then i'll show you, I'll show you 
so I've got 7 centimetres then I've got 21 centimetres and it doesn't really matter on this one you can trim that to 7 if you want to or you can have an overlap it's entirely up to you we could mark that at 28 and then trim it down by there um, Emma says I know Emma said your, your birthday card it's I've got a feeling it's on that shelf there I, I will get that to you Emma that's my fault um, what else have we got oh it says you get sad doggies in the vet today yeah, my, oh. I thought I went to the vet as well I had a bad uh, bit of a cough so they, they took oh, him there but, but yeah hope it, hope all is okay Emma uh, with you um, the smaller one of the two sets fits through the normal big shot I think someone asked about the size yeah. yes it does it does the big shot is I'm sure it's six inches wide um, so I have a feeling this is less than six inches and then I've got inches on the other side here Should move some of the stuff you know I missed just so yeah yes there's six inches so we've got a little bit to spare this is five and a half inches so that should fit through your kettle bag as well if you've got a kettle bag yeah. There you are. You just see um you know they're the memory uh, bookmaker uh, layered cascade die set so yeah memory book uh, maker set probably gonna find them sold out majority of places but they they'll will be back, be back shortly very very soon they, they'll be back in and out in the trade okay so there's my my little fold so I am just this is just like making a gatefold card so have I got the right size now? Make sure, no, that's it too small. It's that one. So as you can see there, my fold, the die is just slightly over the fold on each side. So I'm gonna line that up. Make sure you tape this down, mind, because you really don't want this one moving. This is one for two bits of tape, I reckon. I know Kim took Tammy the tangerine to to the show. I, I saw, uh, but said there were loads of tangerines there. You figure out which one was Tommy. Oh, she didn't want to make a mistake. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm glad that loads of them people representing with their their tangerine at, at the at the day. I got my prize for the card and music dies. Thank you. Got the card. Got to stop. Yeah. Leah pitching it. Um, hello, I just managed to join a few minutes ago, but this looks lovely. Ah, oh, Ruth. Yes, uh, Ali's making an awesome project. Hope you're all well, Luz. Just gonna pop this through. And Edna's with us as well. Hello, Edna. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, loads of loads of people with us. Thanks for for enjoying the project today. Edna makes some amazing memory yeah. books. She's like a memory book queen. Check. Edna yeah. is. So just pop your tape off. Oops. We won't worry about that because you're not going to see it. Lots of opportunities to, to put stuff layer on this as well. You can layer you. anything. I mean, this then can be, this could be on a wedding album then, and you open it up. The crack in there is because it's got perforations on the edge, they all kind of mix in together. You could open up, these could be um, the gates on the church. Yeah, yeah. And then you open it up inside <coughs> and there's your wedding photo. But this can be a card as well. It doesn't have to be in a scrapbooking album or anything like that. It could just be a card. So what do we do with this one? Right. I took some cream card and I cut a few layers. What did I do with them? Yeah. There's one by there and mm. there's one here. And what else have I got? Have I got anything in there? Yeah. So probably you might have them hidden inside the memory. I might yeah, well have the memory them. book. I don't know whether I've cut enough, that's the thing. Um, Linda says, I've made a few cards with my uh, memory book, but yet to start an album. But that's good because it's got, it's got two points. So you can do your memory books, yes, but you can do the cards as well. And that's Exactly. That's, exactly. that's a good, multi-purpose is a good thing to be. Have I got any know. more bits here? I don't think I have, have I? What are you looking for? Another Another cream. One. I don't think I've got, well I may have to talk you through the middle, but I think you'll have had enough of me by then anyway. <laughs> no, they're, they're all right, they want more. <laughs> we'll see, if they don't come, if they don't ask for the encore then we, we won't come we're back. We're all right, we're we'll all stay right. Stay off. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna. What if that happens? I, I'm sure it does. I'm, I'm sure I went to see a gig once. And I think they just like, ah, they weren't that many people there, so why I'm not wasting my time? And I just yeah. went back, and they just went off. They didn't even play the hits. That's the problem with saving them till the end. You know, if it's non cool, if they haven't played their big song, yeah. and they've then still gone off, go into they wouldn't let them. But some people just go off and go, no, we're not playing it. Some people have been miserable in there. Yeah. yeah. Here we are. Right, so I'm just going to trim the excess off there. Make sure we're about right and we're even. Um, one of the ladies, um, Sheen broke when I was talking to her, into her getting a tangerine. Yeah, well, it's a good opportunity to try out a tangerine if you did go to Jodie's uh, events, if you haven't had the chance to try them before. Um, but yeah, it's a sturdy machine, you know, your machine isn't going to break in. So you can just. You can take challenge any of them to a die cut in battle, and I, I believe you'll come out on top. Easiest way to line this up: pop it on the other side, and then you know they're both in the right place. Just line it up on the one you've already stuck. I mean, this may be it, the way you want it—that you want an extra layer on the top. That's another way of doing it. So many possibilities with these books. Just have fun with them, see what you can create, you know. Exactly, exactly. Bit of fun. There we go. So there's our front. Now the easiest way I found to do the other panels. You could have turned this into about three or four cards. Couldn't oh, you? Yeah. If you wanted to, like the what you yeah. you done here, you could you can yeah. Well that's why I was a little bit worried, but I know people have asked me, can you show me different designs for yeah, pages? Yeah. So that's why I didn't really want to concentrate on putting the album together because I know Jodie's shown you that and there's videos up on our page of how to put the album together. Um, but I wanted to show you different ideas for putting the pages together. So I have put them back to back because they're going to go here. So even though I haven't trimmed them, they're both in the same place. And then I am going to use, I'm going roughly in the middle, thereabouts, and let's go down a little bit further, and just make my hole. So when I lay them on here then, the holes are going to be in the same place. So back to back, oh, front to front of them both, and then they'll be in the correct place. So a little bit of ribbon for each. Uh, nice Gail on to, yeah, there. Kimmy, that, that was me. I'll be ordering one of the weekend. I'll Gail, you, you won't regret it. You'll enjoy the machine. I've been involved with the tangerine right from the very beginning, before it had any casing on it, before it was it was just it is here, a slab of metal. Case gone somewhere. You know, the, the shit. And even then, it was the most amazing machine I had ever used. It would cut through anything dies that I had tried before and I just couldn't do anything with them this machine cut them I, I've only ever used a tangerine like the tangerine machine really so that's like for me it's like I don't really know any different yeah. but I did go on one and my mum's got a different machine and I used it on the weekend and it yeah it was a lot more hard work I was, it like, is hard why work. Is it, I was like why is it doing that and it was just because I, I was used to the machine but yeah with, with the tangerine machine though you get Tonics customer service really because you know it's so for my so any problems with it you can always just drop us an email anything like that and and we'll we'll sort you out that's what we you know we pride ourselves on that you know as well as our products is uh, customer service too so there's our ribbon so it's just a little hole in the middle and pop your ribbon on there we go how's YouTube Dan I know we've been oh no. <laughs> Oh dear, we've got lots of chatting. Uh, so we got uh, Patricia saying, I got distracted my great granddaughter. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, and she writes later. Uh, Anne Chewing saying, uh, it was the second book in the moment. Uh, we'll be trying this way next of the colours you've used. And uh, Mercedes saying hello. And uh, a really art creative saying hello from France. Hello, Tom Hello, France. Oh, thank you. Hello, France. Yeah. Hello. Very uh, much hello. I put the wrong plates and snapped my green plate, but oh. I've bought a new one. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that, that can happen. But yeah, you know, anything like that. It does sort of happen. Yeah. We've all done that. Just let us know. Um, your, your customer service is exceptional. Well, that's it. I can, 
when I handed the baton over to Laura and Karen, I knew it was in safe hands, and they and they have done, yeah, they do an awesome job. So yeah, any problems, always ask them. Um, guess what? It was good. My Tim Ross scissors fell apart, and Laura sent me a brand new pair straight away. That's it. Yeah, we just try and get it done. No, like no fuss is the sort of the exactly. our attitude to it. Exactly. There we are. So just snip off whatever you've got spare at the back. There we go. And then you can just tie that up together. I've put some layers inside that one, but I think we're probably going to run out of time before I get to. And they, they are just layers. I've done nothing special with them. Oh, I did a little book. So that was the same as the little tag book you saw earlier. Just fold it over and then just stick it down. Is there a video on a different place? There, there should be. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, different plates for for the tangerine. Um, if, if there is, for different dyes. If they, yeah, check on YouTube. I think there is. I think we did a video way back when it came out. Um, Lisa says, oh, when I first bought the tangerine, I was dubious, but now I don't regret it. It's amazing. There you go, Lisa. I wish Tonic made spray glue. Hint, hint. I don't know if we've ever done anything like that. No, we've never done no, the spray but glue. But they're always working on different types of glue. Uh, my book book is looking fab, Ali. Oh, thank you. And my orange board is bending. Uh, what can I do? Turn it over. Turn it over. Turn your board over. You're using one side more than the other, and that's what's causing it to bend. That helps you. Because sometimes we like to keep one side clean and dirty the other. Yeah. But you need to turn it over. So there we go. We got, I got a few. To trim it together then, I got some ribbon. I'll just show you what I've got here. And it literally is what I've grabbed off my shelf to go with these. So I've got a little bit of lace. So again, sometimes you've got oddments of lace. I've got a little bit of polka dot satin, a little bit of organza, and a little bit of the ribbon I've used inside. And I'll tie up one of these now for you. And it literally is, it's little <coughs> scraps. That is all you're going to use. Another little bit um, here. Um, so making cards is fun. I think it's Laura, she's so pretty. I love those purple shades as well. Really, yeah, really lovely purple shades. Check out uh, Laura's blog as well. Uh, making cards is, is fun. It's some awesome stuff on there and a really cool embellishment moose background, uh, which she's done. So showing you how to create one. Um, yeah, it's an awesome, awesome cards that she makes. Fabulous. So I'll just trim, this is my scissors I think. This definitely is not my ribbon scissors. I have, to, I have to have a scissors I keep just for ribbon and that's not You've my You've got your utility scissors. belt on, don't you? you have. I have. No, I've got my table tidy. Table tidy, yeah. Got to have my table tidy. To the tidy. back, stuff to the front of you. Yeah. Like that, like a bum bag. <laughs> just like a shelf. Just today. a shelf, just walking shelf. I thought my bum is not big enough. <laughs> I've got enough to carry as it is. Uh, Jill, looking for some more magnets for the memory book. A lot of people get off eBay, but, eBay, you, but you, you look at neodymium magnets. I would try um, Amazon. Um, somebody said Crafty Devils had them. I think it's buffering Ooh. a little bit. It keeps coming up Can't broadband think. interrupted. Oh dear. We have not that for a while. I know, we? we have not that. There we are. So that's all I've done is tied the four ribbons, put them in different orders on each of your um, of your little rings, your book rings. Oh, why is it buffering? Try try refreshing it. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to type it because they can't see me. It's also the same on here as well. Is it? It's all right on mine. Oh, you can watch it all back later. So if you are joining us later, you can you can watch back. So I've done a couple of flowers as well. Uh, these are from our kit five. I have a feeling four or five. Five. I think it's a five. five. That's where these are all from. So I've got a couple to put on the front. 
and I've just added some little buttons in the centre just to finish it off there we are. go up a little bit there uh, then I wanted one then on the pulley bit on the next one so there's my flower to go there and I've just decorated them with some buttons and I think that's where we're going to leave it for today so hopefully it's given you a couple of ideas for your memory box that I know you're going to share with us because you always do yeah definitely we'll, we'll see them on Friday with Karen if you've yes. made one uh, just show us in fact you know you can show us where you are in your project if you just started yes. you don't have to be, show us step by step on where you are and we'll all work on the project together and, and try and get there well thanks everyone I know it's been buffering a little bit these back and then because somebody wanted to see the dies yeah. so I'm going to pop them all back in just for you to see everything you get so on the outer dies with the plain layer instead if you're making the bigger box um, these are good for your front cover, your spine and your back cover. I've just used the smaller layers today because I've only used this. But if you're using this as a big cover, these are your pages inside. So that's your main die set. And this, that's your layering die set, sorry. And this is your creator die set. Whoops, put it right down. And each of these pages has an end that hasn't got a cut edge on it. I'll bring it over now. But then you've got a layering die that fits each of the pages. So where you can see it's got a larger edge on it, there's no cut edge on that. So that will make your page, you can do double pages with them. Um, whatever you fancy really make them as thick or as thin as you want to lots of possibilities there yeah so there's the front of <coughs> the dies this is what you're looking for when you're looking in the shops there we go uh, yeah brilliant project Al. everyone's loving it uh, on there so yeah you'll be able to see this you can watch it all back if you just joined us a bit late then you can watch them all back um, lovely project Al. it's in a lovely time in Kilkenny at the weekend safe journey as well. oh thank says you says Catherine <laughs> Marcy, amazing alley, beautiful alley. Um, some uh, can't find tonic's memory words die. Uh, I need to cut one with the alphabet dies. Then we did a memories one, didn't we? We did a memories one. I think they've been discontinued. I think they have. I haven't seen that one in a while. No, I know which. I know exactly the one you're ago. talking about. It came out with a set of dies, um, but it's been a long, long time since that's been out. Yeah, sorry about that. That sometimes happens when they. They've been around a while and everyone's got them. So if you are yeah. lucky enough to have them, then yeah, you're very lucky. Uh, so yeah, have a great uh, evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, and hope you enjoy this demo. Um, yeah, we'll be back on Friday at 4 p.m. with me, Dan and Karen, and we'll go through your card. So from us, the Tonic Trio, good night. Bye. <laughs>